It's passed with a majority of 55, but we talked about how it was a very divisive issue, that the House was profoundly split. Uh, and you can see that in the result, 330 in favour, 275 MPs against. And I'm just glancing at the doors of the Commons because I am hoping that Kim Leadbeater will come and talk to us. Uh, this bill passed. She will be, of course, uh, profoundly happy about that. She has worked extremely hard to get this uh, in principle passed. It is the second time it's been debated in a decade and it has passed after being uh, voted down in 2015. It will now go to the third reading where it will be into committee stage, into report stage, and the bill will be fleshed out. And my government sources have told me uh, that the government will work uh, with Kim, Kim Leibbeater and MPs in order uh, to make the bill operable. Indeed, that was what Kim Leadbeater uh, talked about herself in the Commons, but this was a divided issue in which MPs felt extremely strongly both ways. So, in a way, it's a victory for Kim Leadbeater, but I think uh, it is actually more a profoundly emotional moment for many MPs, but it is a moment potentially of huge societal change. As I was saying, it's a piece of legislation uh, that will affect everybody's lives, the right to determine potentially uh, your own death uh, if you are terminally ill within si and you are, have a six month or less life expectancy. Uh, so that was Kim Leadbeater's uh, bill in which she said it was not about life or death, but rather autonomy over how you choose to die at the end of your life. You saw the debates about, on the one hand, people talking about the need to give people choice and dignified deaths and an ability to stop. In the words of Kit Malthouse, who argued profoundly for the bill, uh, people suffering from terminal diseases, from facing uh, painful deaths. Others, Danny Kruger warning uh, that people might feel coerced in it or feel that they are a burden on their families and that it was the job of MPs to protect the vulnerable. But this is a hugely historic moment in principle. The idea of assisted dying has been passed in the House of Commons at the second reading. 31 jurisdictions around the world allow assisted dying. And now it goes into a debate and committee stage and MPs will vote on it at a third reading. That could take up to two years, according to what Kim Leadbeater told MPs in the Commons today. Uh, but this then a beginning of a national conversation about assisted dying and how that might look now in practice.